aware of the climate change that has been around for some time now. We can feel the effects, but some world leaders still fail to acknowledge the need to work towards a sustainable future. With icebergs melting, a rise in sea level can be witnessed, which in turn harms the wildlife that have been based around it. The average rise in temperature is concerning to the core as well. With conspiracy theories and other enraging possibilities, we've been hearing that the Moon and the planet Mars can be the planet B if enough research can be carried out. We have all learned in our elementary years that Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun in the solar system, holding a place behind our planet Earth. The second smallest planet in the solar system, the first being Mercury, is often referred to as the red planet because the presence of iron oxide giving the surface a reddish tinge. Scientists believe that Mars can be made habitable by humans if the need arises, for it has features similar to that of Earth. Polar ice caps, volcanoes, moons, and the days and seasons are quite similar to what Earth inhabits. The Mars rover launched by NASA tried to find the remnants of past life, if any, and features that needed to be present in order to make habitable to humans. When Russian Viking had captured an image of a landform in Mars, it looked like the face of a statue which made some scientists think about the presence of life on Mars. As days progressed, technology evolved and cameras could click pictures with a better resolution. It was found that the image of the face was nothing but a landform, a Martian mesa or a butte. These landforms were common in nearby areas. Whenever we spot a cloud, we try to associate the shape of the cloud with a real-life object. This particular phenomenon was seen at play in this scenario. On the other hand, some pictures aren't easy to explain. Let's find out which ones are among them. The fruit of gate on the planet poses a specific curiosity to scientific find. It is quite natural to find a stone carved in a spherical shape in the Earth. Finding the same in another planet when there are no other forms that represent the spherical stone seems to be quite exhilarating. The twin rovers have debunked a lot of theories and helped debunk the one with an unidentified white colored object. One rover captured a picture that showed a white object in the same spot where another rover had been earlier, but there was no availability of this object when the previous rover captured a picture. Scientists were curious back on Earth. Nonetheless, the white object was an old piece of rock that had been tossed around by the rovers. A mystery led to a lot of conspiracy theories that humans create in their minds. One such example is the formation of spider-like features which, unless proven, were thought as some extraterrestrial element. In reality, these aren't actual spiders, but a rain of formed terrain, where spider-like mounds radiate when carbon dioxide from the surface below heats up. Over time, the trapped carbon dioxide gas builds in pressure and is eventually strong enough to break through the ice as a jet that erupts dust. The gas is released into the atmosphere and darker dust may be deposited around the vent or transported by winds to produce streaks. The loss of the sublimated carbon dioxide leaves behind these spider-like features etched into the surface. This phenomenon is not witnessed on Earth. Another classic example of pareidolia is the presence of pyramid-like structures in Mars. A conspiracy theorist spotted two pyramids sitting adjacently with their entrances facing the rovers. He believes that another species may have built them. He also mentioned that, though the pyramids looked ancient, they withstood the test of time and emerged on the surface. He refuses to believe in pareidolia and lays emphasis on the presence of another species. This image might seem striking to an ordinary person. Having watched a lot of movies, we formed an idea of how aliens might look if we are to be confronted. They might not even resemble the image we have in our heads, but this certain shape covering the entrance of a cave has become a course of the controversy. Look at the image carefully. The shape seems to have spikes coming out from its diameter with some sort of circular center. Imagination is boundless, and one might even imagine that aliens have emerged from the underground and placed it on the entrance. The conspiracy theorists can take a break from their real lives and for once believe what pareidolia is all about. A human cannot survive on the red planet and hence there can be no existence of homo sapiens. A picture from the Curiosity rover depicted a figurine that stood vertically around the height of an average woman and made our brains to believe an actual woman or a statue had been standing there. 
The brain works in mysterious ways, and this is the phenomenon where people involuntarily assume the object by the shape associated with a real-life object. Thus ends the saga of mysterious images that hide no conspiracy behind them. At this point of time, we are on our way to send out the first set of humans to visit Mars and find out whether we can sustain on the Red Planet. Instead of thinking about the alternative to Earth, one should try saving the one that is within the reach. When scientists are sending vehicles to space, how hard can it be to tackle the problem of pollution? Mars might be habitable and might not be. If it isn't, there shall remain no planet B to sustain on. We might not be here for long, but the generations that are on their way shall keep blaming us for the steps we could have taken but did not. Do your part and adapt to sustainability. Adios.